Monster Typhoon Uvan has rapidly intensified into a Category 4 storm, now packing winds of 220 km per hour. This explosive growth has transformed Uwan into one of the most powerful storms currently threatening the Philippines. With wind speeds faster than a Formula One race car, Uwan has the potential to cause catastrophic damage across a vast area. The Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration confirms that Uwan's intensification occurred in just the past 24 hours, putting more than 50 provinces, including Metro Manila, directly in its path. As the typhoon approaches, millions of residents are bracing for severe winds, torrential rain, and life-threatening storm surges. The immediate threat posed by Uwan cannot be overstated, as its arrival could bring destruction on a scale rarely seen. A monster typhoon is a tropical cyclone that surpasses ordinary storms in every measure of strength and destruction. Unlike regular typhoons, monster typhoons generate wind speeds exceeding 185 kilometers per hour, powerful enough to tear apart concrete buildings and uproot entire neighborhoods. Their rainfall is so intense that it can deliver a month's worth of precipitation in just a single day, overwhelming rivers and causing widespread flooding. Perhaps most devastating is the storm surge. Monster typhoons push walls of ocean water inland, sometimes reaching heights of five to seven meters, instantly inundating coastal communities. The sheer size of these storms means their impact can be felt hundreds of kilometers from the eye, making them uniquely dangerous and far-reaching compared to typical typhoons. Monster Typhoon Uvan stands out due to its extraordinary intensity and scale. With sustained winds reaching 220 kilometers per hour, Uwan possesses the power to tear apart concrete structures and devastate entire communities. Its massive diameter, spanning 1,400 kilometers, means that even regions hundreds of kilometers from the storm center will experience severe weather conditions. One of the greatest dangers posed by Uwan is the potential for catastrophic storm surges. Coastal areas are at risk of walls of water exceeding three meters, capable of inundating low-lying communities within minutes. These combined factors make Uwan not just a typical typhoon, but a true monster storm with the potential for widespread destruction. The Philippines is uniquely vulnerable to monster typhoons due to a combination of geographical, oceanic, and atmospheric factors. Situated in the Western Pacific, the country lies directly in the path of typhoons that form over some of the warmest ocean waters on Earth. These high sea temperatures, ranging from 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, provide the energy that fuels rapid intensification of storms. Additionally, prevailing atmospheric currents steer typhoons west-northwest, guiding them straight toward the Philippine archipelago. Unlike neighboring countries, the Philippines experiences up to 20 typhoons annually, many arriving at peak strength after traversing vast stretches of superheated ocean. This convergence of location, climate, and ocean science makes the Philippines the most typhoon-prone nation in the world, facing monster storms with devastating regularity. The Western Pacific Ocean is recognized as the world's primary breeding ground for monster typhoons. This region is characterized by consistently warm sea surface temperatures, often ranging from 28 to 30 degrees Celsius throughout the year. Such warmth provides an abundant source of energy for developing storms. As a typhoon passes over these heated waters, it can rapidly intensify, sometimes escalating from a modest tropical storm to a powerful Category 4 or 5 typhoon within just a day or two. The deeper and hotter the ocean layer, the more fuel a storm has to grow stronger. This unique combination of geography and ocean science explains why the Western Pacific produces some of the most intense and destructive typhoons on the planet. For countries like the Philippines, this means facing the threat of monster storms with alarming regularity. Rapid intensification is a phenomenon where a tropical cyclone dramatically increases in strength over a short period, often catching communities and forecasters off guard. Typhoon Uwan is a striking example of this process. Within just 48 hours, Uwan transformed from a relatively weak tropical storm into a powerful Category 4 typhoon, with winds surging to 220 kilometers per hour. This explosive growth occurred as the storm passed over exceptionally warm waters in the Philippine Sea, 
providing the energy needed for such a rapid escalation. Meteorologists from Pagasa confirmed that Uwan's intensification was unusually swift, with the storm expanding to a massive 1,400 kilometers in diameter. Rapid intensification like this not only increases the destructive potential of a typhoon, but also shortens the window for preparation and evacuation, making these storms especially dangerous for vulnerable regions. Typhoons in the Western Pacific follow well-established paths, guided by prevailing winds and atmospheric currents. These steering currents often push storms west-northwest, placing the Philippines directly in their trajectory. The country's location, straddling the warmest stretch of the Pacific Ocean, means that typhoons not only pass through frequently, but also intensify as they approach. Each year, about 25 to 30 typhoons form in this region, with the Philippines experiencing the brunt of around 20 of them, more than any other country. By the time these storms reach land, they have traveled over thousands of kilometers of warm ocean, often arriving at or near peak strength. This unique combination of geography and climate makes the Philippines especially vulnerable to some of the world's most powerful tropical cyclones. When comparing typhoon activity across the region, the Philippines stands out as the most frequently and severely affected country. While Japan typically experiences around three typhoons per year, and Taiwan and Vietnam see four to five, the Philippines is struck by an average of 20 typhoons annually. This relentless barrage is not just about numbers. Many of these storms arrive at or near their peak intensity, having gathered strength over the exceptionally warm waters of the Western Pacific. As a result, the Philippines endures more monster typhoons with higher wind speeds and greater destructive power than any of its neighbors. The combination of geographic location and oceanic conditions makes the country uniquely vulnerable leading to repeated devastation and a constant need for preparedness. The Philippines has faced some of the world's most destructive monster typhoons in recent years. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, locally known as Yolanda, struck with peak winds of 315 kilometers per hour, resulting in over 6,300 fatalities and widespread devastation across the Visayas region. More recently, Typhoon Rai, called Odette in the Philippines, hit in 2021, with winds reaching 195 kilometers per hour, leaving more than 400 people dead and thousands displaced. Typhoon Goni, or Roli, made landfall in 2020 with winds of 225 kilometers per hour, causing severe destruction in Bicol and neighboring provinces. Each of these storms brought catastrophic flooding, storm surges, and long-lasting impacts on infrastructure, highlighting the Philippines' vulnerability to monster typhoons. The scale of loss and damage from these events underscores the urgent need for robust disaster, preparedness, and resilient communities. In recent decades, scientists have observed a clear trend. Monster typhoons are becoming more frequent and more intense. This shift is closely linked to climate change and the warming of ocean waters, particularly in the Western Pacific. Warmer seas provide more energy for storms, allowing them to intensify rapidly and reach unprecedented wind speeds. Studies indicate that the number of the most powerful typhoons has increased by 15% over the past 40 years. Where storms once peaked at 150 kilometers per hour, they now regularly exceed 220 kilometers per hour, making them far more destructive. As the oceans continue to warm, experts warn that these extreme weather events will only become more common and more dangerous for vulnerable regions like the Philippines. Monster Typhoon Uwan poses an exceptional threat not only because of its sheer strength, but also due to its unfortunate timing. The storm is arriving just days after Typhoon Tino, which left hundreds dead or missing and has already stretched emergency resources to their limits. Rescue teams are depleted, evacuation centers are full, and medical supplies are running low. With the country still reeling from Tino's devastation, Uvan's arrival threatens to overwhelm response efforts and create a second catastrophe in a different region. The overlap of these disasters means that many communities may not receive timely aid, increasing the risk to lives and property. This combination of back-to-back -back storms and exhausted resources makes Uwan especially dangerous for millions of Filipinos. Typhoon Uwan has undergone an extraordinary transformation, 
rapidly intensifying from a tropical storm to a Category 4 typhoon in just 48 hours. Now packing winds of 220 kilometers per hour, Uvan's strength is matched only by its enormous size. Spanning 1,400 kilometers across, it threatens more than half of the Philippines' provinces. This vast reach means that even regions far from the storm center will experience severe weather conditions. Meteorologists warn that Uwan's path could shift, raising the risk of multiple landfalls. Areas like Catanduanas, Isabela, and Aurora may face the typhoon's full force in succession, compounding the potential for widespread destruction. The combination of rapid intensification, massive scale, and unpredictable trajectory makes Uwan an especially dangerous storm for communities across the country. Nighttime landfall poses a unique and heightened danger during typhoons. When a storm strikes after dark, communities are often caught off guard, with many residents asleep and less able to respond quickly to changing conditions. Reduced visibility makes it difficult to assess rising floodwaters, identify hazards, or evacuate safely. Emergency services face greater challenges navigating blocked roads or reaching those in need. In past disasters, fatalities have been higher when typhoons made landfall at night, as people are less likely to receive timely warnings or recognize the severity of the threat. The combination of darkness, confusion, and rapidly deteriorating conditions can turn a dangerous storm into a deadly catastrophe. Monster typhoons bring with them not only ferocious winds, but also deadly storm surges and catastrophic flooding. When these storms make landfall, they can push walls of ocean water several meters high into coastal communities, overwhelming defenses and drowning entire neighborhoods within minutes. Flooding often persists for days as rivers and waterways overflow, submerging homes and farmland long after the winds have passed. The aftermath is equally devastating. Power lines are downed, water systems become contaminated, roads are rendered impassable, and communication networks collapse. Recovery can take weeks or even months, leaving communities isolated and vulnerable. These long-term impacts highlight the urgent need for thorough preparation and resilient infrastructure in regions frequently struck by monster typhoons. Surviving a monster typhoon like Uvan requires more than basic preparation. Residents in vulnerable areas should evacuate to sturdy shelters well before the storm arrives, especially if living in lightweight or coastal structures. It's crucial to stock at least two weeks' worth of food, clean water, and essential medical supplies, as power outages and impassable roads can last for days or even weeks. Water purification methods, cash, and a fully charged emergency kit are also vital. An evacuation plan should be established in advance with clear communication among family members and neighbors. Remember, storm surge and flooding can be just as deadly as the winds, so moving to higher ground is essential if you're near the coast. Extreme readiness is not just recommended, it's necessary to protect lives when facing a storm of this magnitude. As Typhoon Uwan approaches with unprecedented strength, communities across the Philippines are mobilizing swiftly to protect lives. Evacuations are underway in eastern Visayas and Luzon, with thousands of residents leaving vulnerable coastal and low-lying areas. Emergency shelters, including Robinson's malls, churches, and schools, are opening their doors to provide refuge for those displaced by the storm. The Archdiocese of Manila has called on parishes and educational institutions to accommodate evacuees, ensuring that no one is left without shelter. Local government units are coordinating closely with disaster response teams to distribute supplies and assist families in relocating safely. In provinces like Catanduanes and Sorsogon, gymnasiums and community centers are filling with families seeking safety. The collective response highlights the resilience and solidarity of Filipinos in the face of nature's most severe threats. The Philippines faces monster typhoons more frequently than any other country due to its unique geographic location. Situated in the warmest part of the Western Pacific, the nation lies directly in the path of powerful storms that feed on hot ocean waters and are steered westward by prevailing atmospheric currents. As a result, the Philippines experiences around 20 typhoons each year, many of which reach devastating intensities. 
Climate change is further amplifying the strength and frequency of these storms. To increase resilience and survival, communities must prioritize early evacuation, strengthen infrastructure, and maintain emergency supplies. Public awareness, timely warnings, and coordinated shelter efforts are essential to protect lives when monster typhoons strike. As monster typhoon Uvan approaches, the urgency of preparation cannot be overstated. The reality is clear. This is a storm of exceptional strength with the potential to devastate entire communities and disrupt lives for weeks. For those in vulnerable areas, timely evacuation and thorough readiness are essential to survival. The threat is not just imminent, it is unprecedented in scale and intensity. By understanding the risks and acting decisively, lives can be saved. Let us all remain vigilant, support one another, and prioritize safety above all else. Stay alert, stay prepared, and may everyone in the path of the storm remain safe.